A little early, but we can all scream for ice cream this morning, right? No. It's never too late to eat never, ice cream. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> or too early. Exactly. Marcy Jones is live at a brand new spot in Simsbury to try it out. Marcy, exactly where are you? Good morning. We are in the beautiful town of Simsbury, one of their brand new locations, Grassroots Ice Cream. I've heard such fabulous things. I've never been to one of their locations before, so this is a big day, big day, guys. I'm here with my new friend, Brandon. Good morning. Hey, how's it going? So great. Okay, so I'm looking at your flavors, and my mouth is watering. For anybody who's not familiar with Grassroots, kind of take us through the concept and how you guys came about. Yeah, so the concept is kind of mostly just Good for you, homemade kind okay. of scratch flavors. Yes. All of our jams, cookies, and everything, we make it in house. So, all the mix ins are from scratch? <laughs> and what? all the jams, yeah. No, that's wild. And you don't just have your run of the mill flavors, you have really unique ones. Let's talk about some of the, some of the more uh, curious flavors, let's call them. Uh, the one that kind of gets people's most attention is going to be the goat cheese blackberry. Okay. Uh, can't really think about it as goat cheese, you got to think about it as. Uh, kind of a cheesecake. But I, that makes sense to me. I'm a charcuterie board gal, and those flavors go together so nicely. And I feel like that would be really refreshing, especially springtime, summer coming up, right? Oh, yeah. That, that's a huge sell in blood orange chocolate chip right behind it. Cannot go wrong with either of those, that I promise incredible. you. That sounds incredible. Lime chip, honey lavender, cannoli. I saw some back here, too, like bergamot, cardamom. Incredible. Oh, yeah. So how do you get your inspiration for flavors? Uh, basically, we kind of come up with anything. We go around, eat something great, eat anything. You go to the charcuterie board, get yeah, cheese. Yeah, you get a little butter. inspiration here and, and there. And then we kind of just collaborate and kind of come up with something and we go for it. And some things aren't winners, but, you know, we obviously highlight the winners. And uh, we Not everything is going to be incredible, but it looks like you guys have done a lot of testing and have picked out the 10 out of 10s. So do you have a favorite flavor? Yeah. I'm or more, top three, top three. Top three. Top three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, definitely that blood orange. Okay. Um, I'm a huge favorite. Uh, I'm really partial to the goat cheese blackberry. Right. I kind of definitely with, but I'm kind of a chocolate person. I'm not going to lie to I you. I love chocolate. Yeah. yeah. So what's your top chocolate one? It's going to be a black chocolate chocolate chip. <gasps> it's like this chocolate. So you can't go darker than that. That's you, the darkest. You, abso you absolutely cannot. No. Wow, it's, it's folks. It. And then would you put that on a chocolate dipped cone just to like? Uh, I wouldn't because I eat so <laughs> much of it, but. Definitely, if I recommend anybody who loves chocolate, that's kind of right. like okay. leading to that. And then yeah. as far as toppings go, we don't want to drown out your incredible flavors, but do you offer, you know, like the right, like sprinkles, nuts, all that kind of stuff? We do, but our rainbow sprinkles are also kind of aligned with us. No artificial flavor, okay. no waxiness to oh, it. Oh, yes. And oh, then, the organic moms are going to love that. <laughs> and the chocolate <laughs> is just like actual chocolate, so there's no chocolate. like. Okay, no fakey it. stuff. No. No, get out of here not. with your synthetic stuff. We don't like that. All right, let's let's uh, let's show everybody a proper scoop. I'll right? happily show everybody a proper scoop. Did this take you a long time to figure out your technique, or do you, did it come naturally to you? Uh, well, it kind of... Uh, you can brag here. It's fine. I'm, well, I can't really brag. I got taught by the best person. Uh, you know, I got, I got a lot of help when it came to the scoop. Okay. Yeah. It's that you can't scoop alone, guys. You need somebody to show you how to scoop to find your motion, right? Yeah, it literally takes a little practice. <gasps> Rose chocolate chip? Wow, Rose chocolate I've been chip. I'm seeing more and more that look incredible. So while you're scooping, tell us your hours. Our hours are from 11 to 8 every day. This, uh, every, in Granby, it's going to be 11 to 9. Okay. And here it's going to be uh, 3, to, 3 to 8, 3 to 9. Uh, while we get going, and this week we're going to unveil our food. So Ooh. that should be. Uh, what kind really of food? Exciting. What? That's what we call bearing the lead here. What <laughs> kind of food? Uh, very eclectic. Any kind of street food. Uh, I love that. Anything that we really want. Kind oh. of some of the, so inspired by it. our ice cream, we kind of do everything. We got a little wraps, bowls, salads, sandwiches, okay. rice bowls. Street food. I love street it. That food. sounds absolutely incredible. Guys, come visit the new location, Grassroots in Simsbury. All right, here, we're going to have to do a little switch around. Oh, I got you. Okay. Looks good. Eat I got to get some Mars. of the homemade, homemade jam, you oh guys. Oh, my gosh, that Ooh, looks amazing. Yummy. Oh, the best. All right, we're Thanks, on to something Mars. else sweet. Yes. 